guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Allie and I am currently 37 weeks and six days I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow um, pregnant with our second baby girl so we've got oh, quite the bump and I love this biker short set I'll link it if anyone wants it but it's from Amazon, it's so good. Anyways, today I am filming what's in my hospital bag. I honestly feel very underprepared for this video. However, I am 38 weeks tomorrow and she is already in ideal, optimal position. She has been for a long time. She dropped a while ago, so I feel like the end is coming soon and I am doing everything in my power to make sure that that happens. So I needed to film this even if I have no idea what I'm bringing, which is crazy because I already did this two years ago. I do know why I'm bringing things and why I'm not bringing them, but I feel like I'm underprepared because like, I don't have a ton of stuff, like what everyone else has, you know what I mean? So anyways, let's just jump in. I'm just, this is gonna be all my stuff, my husband's stuff, and then I will do baby stuff at the end because what I'm bringing for baby is so minimal. Like, I'm not even packing a whole diaper bag for her. Like, I think her stuff will go in here unless my new diaper bag comes in time um, because I don't want to take everything out of our old one and repack it and whatever yet, like, just for the hospital. But if my new one comes, I'll do that. But anyways, I'll show you guys everything. So, what we have going on is <laughs> this same roller suitcase from my last time that we went um duffel bags again just don't own them and I feel like they just get dirty which I know these do too but this is a hard shell one I can wipe it down with like a Lysol wipe and I just feel like it's easier to roll in or roll out rather than have to carry a ton of stuff and it's just easier so I like the roll away bags and yes okay so starting with me I have this robe that I got off of Amazon when I was pregnant last time with my first daughter and literally I only used it for pictures with her and so I'm bringing it this time. I'll take pictures in it again. It's cute. Like I have no problem with that but I'm bringing it for um, like covering up. I don't know if we're allowed to have any guests yet. I don't know like the mask rules or anything like that. My doctor hasn't told me anything about that yet um and I know it's like up to the hospitals and the specific nurses um as far as like masks go so I don't and I know we can have a spouse and then one other person I don't think we can have any visitors so it's not for like oh I need to cover up it's just if your arms get cold but you don't want pants on like I already have this I didn't buy it I already had a robe so I'm just bringing it because it's a suitcase like it can fit a ton of stuff then I have this two-piece pajama set. It's just like button-up from Target Stars Above brand. Um, I've had it for a long time, and I figured since it's button-up, great for nursing. The shorts are really loose and comfy, so they can go over any diapers or pads that I have on, and I'll still feel comfy. Then I just have this pair of black shorts. I got a two-pack of these from Costco um, just for sleep like while I was pregnant. But in the last like week or so I've kept these ones packed in my diaper bag because they're so comfortable Just a second pair of shorts. No harm. No foul. And then this I just got this like flowy V-neck t-shirt. I wear it while I'm pregnant. It fits. It's not a pregnancy shirt by any means, but I'm bringing this and just a pair of my size 6 Lululemon aligned leggings uh, to go home in I will probably depending on the weather wear leggings there and pregnancy size just like get up over the belly and be comfortable I wear a size 8 but in the beginning of my pregnancy and then in postpartum and regular size I wear size 6 so I'm bringing the size 6 to kind of help everything come back in together I know you don't lose your belly immediately but they still fit like over half of my belly right now they just don't go all the way up so I'm not worried about them fitting post baby when there's not actually like a hard human in there, you know? So that is what I have for like my clothes. And I was thinking of taking pictures in this cause like I had, we were sitting in the bed last time. So I thought gray would just be a cute little neutral color 
for me and then the baby can be in whatever she's gonna wear um or the robe because the robe was really cute and fun and then i'll have matching pictures for both my daughters <laughs> so then i have in this little zipper i got these amazon postpartum underwear they are cotton really big it really they're not like super soft they are soft but they're not like buttery soft but i've seen like every mama who is currently or just had a baby in the last couple months talk about these specific amazon ones and i check the link every time and it's always the same ones so i bought a five pack i think they were 25 dollars for five and i just got the all black so i'm only taking two one to wear home because I honestly don't remember mesh underwear at all. I know everyone talks about them and I'm sure my hospital had them and I'm sure I wore them at some point, but I like literally don't remember them at all. And so I know everyone says they love them, but I, I just like, I, I can't remember what they are. So I brought one pair to wear home and then one pair in case something happens or I want to wear it throughout the day or I'm feeling good, whatever. Brought two pairs i'm honestly contemplating bringing more but i know that the hospital has like pads diapers like for women and i think my hospital has mesh underwear so i'm gonna give them a try this time but i just don't remember them from last time and then i have my two nursing bras that i just got from target Ouch. They're just the crossover ones that pull down really easy. I got the white and the like darker mauve one. I would really love to wear one of these while I'm pushing. And then that's like how the baby comes out. Ideally, I would like to wear one of these. They're very soft and comfortable and I really liked um, just how they worked. And also I thought they looked so cute in pictures. I had a black one. Uh, last time when I just thought it looked really cute. It was very comfy. Then I have just a wrapped mask. Stuck this in our bag because I thought, I don't know what the ma mandates are, but that's fine. And then I have two pairs of just dirty old socks that if I walk around in the hospital, I will throw them away when I get home because there's no use in cleaning them. But just have two socks in there and that's all in my little zipper pouch. Then super easy for my husband bringing him black joggers because that's what he'll wear to sleep in and they look nice enough that if he has to go out and doesn't want to change into his shorts or whatever he can just wear these i brought him three shirts which is triple what i brought myself but this green one unless i think of something different i made him this girl dad shirt so this green one will be for pictures and then a sleep shirt and then just like a go home shirt or whatever i don't know if they get dirty he probably won't even use them and he can come home we live far 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 away from the hospital but he can come home he might come home to see oakland or like spend the night with her and then my mom will come with me i'm not sure yet so like once the baby's born he might come back to help like put oakland to bed and stuff so brought him that just because i don't ever want him to feel like he doesn't have enough stuff since I'm the packer, like, I'm like, oh, I can deal without it. But if I have a pack for other people, I'm like, oh, they need options. <laughs> so then just some underwear and a pair of high socks and a pair of low socks in case he gets cold. Or if he's wearing shorts, he'll want low socks. That's all for him. Okay. So now in this little part, these old slippers, and they have a hard bottom, so I feel fine, like, walking around in them. Um, they are really comfy, but like these are like my outside slippers like in the winter and stuff like i'll wear them to like take the trash out and stuff so again they don't ever like touch my house or anything to do with my floors so they can touch the hospital floor and then just like stay in the garage until i have to take the trash out you know like it's not a big deal and then i have our big toiletry bag which has i always keep this packed because i just travel with it so it has i'm not gonna go through all of it but it has a deodorant for me and riley a toothbrush for me a toothbrush for riley toothpaste face lotion face wash leave-in conditioner which i just bring with me all the time an extra pair of contacts and then contact solution in a case and nail file in case they need it like it just literally is what's always in here like i always have that in here then on this side i will pack my makeup but i have some makeup wipes 
a backup of the face makeup that I use, beauty blender, and some concealer. Because literally, besides mascara, which I will for sure grab, and I have a couple like in my car and in my diaper bag, um, that's like the most important thing to me is BB cream and mascara. That's all I care about. So that and then in this little one I have lots of hair tie options because that's important to me so I have my favorite claw clip and then a loose hair tie in case I want to do like a low pony that doesn't pull my hair I have one of my gimme beauty hair ties if I want like a, a bun or a ponytail that's just like all held together and then I have a, a like thicker scrunchie that looks better for messy buns and holds it but isn't like too tight but too loose and then I have one of my pairs of glasses um, just in case if these ones stay in here so not a big deal but the hair ties are a big deal I, that's why I have three different kinds because you do not want to be sitting in a hospital by pushing or in recovery and like get a headache because your hair tie was too tight or your hair is getting over and you're trying to nurse and it's all you know everywhere so three kinds of hair ties for any situation <laughs> that we might need okay so like I said I don't know if I'm going to pack all of baby stuff just in the suitcase with our stuff or if I'm gonna go empty out our diaper bag and repack it or whatever if I if my new diaper bag comes by the time that we leave then I'll put it in a diaper bag but it's not that much stuff so I'll just show you guys so first thing they have everything they have packs of diapers they have wipes they have everything so if I do bring my whole diaper bag then I will obviously have diapers and wipes and burp cloths in there but other than that like they have everything that you need for the baby and so it's just what you want for the ride home basically so I might add to this still but first I'm just bringing these little newborn organic cotton jammies I got them from a boutique they say they're zero to three, but they are so, so, so small. So I'm bringing those for sure. And then this I got for like her pictures. I'm still on the hunt for a purple swaddle, like either like plum or mauve or like lavender. And I can't find any just plain ones. I was going to do a customized one, but we don't know her name. So I don't really know, but I was going to do plain white jammies, um, and then a bow and then have her be on the purple background and then have her name plate but <laughs> I don't have the purple background like the swaddle and we don't know her name so I can't make her like acrylic name sign yet so I don't know what to do but then I have two of these newborn size white organic onesies just literally like the plain little ones they have long sleeve ones in the hospital and if we use those great if not we have these two and they literally take up no space so i have those for her and then i have two pairs of socks just in case one gets dirty or something two pairs of mittens i know the jammies have little mittens but i refuse to let babies not have little mittens on their hands because if they scratch their face it's just so sad so i have those two i have this purple bow which is like the color I'm going for and I just can't find anything that's like this color and then the same bow in white and I got these in like a six pack off of Shein for a dollar and they're so good I bought two packs one for each girl because I was like they're so cute and then I have this big white um like head wrap bow kind of just in case they look so cute on babies and then I wasn't gonna bring this, but as I was grabbing everything, I was like, why the heck not? The hospital hats are cute, but for going home or just whatever, this one is from Target. It's super soft. I don't know if it'll fit her head. It's zero to six month because they only have like the one size. So I don't know if it'll fit her, but it's been washed. It's super, super buttery soft. So if it works, then great. And then I'm bringing three different pacifiers. I know some hospitals have pacifiers and I know my hospital has these ones but they only give like the green ones out I think and that's all fine and good but like I said the colors we're trying to go for are purple so I'm just going to bring this for her and then this is another Nook one and we use these with Oakland and I love 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 them they're just all silicone and they're so great and they have like the cutest colors. And then these, I think, are like the best pacifiers ever. They're the MAM ones. 
and so I got a couple packs of these like in the little tiny newborn size so I'm just bringing one of them to let her choose her preference we gave Oakland a pacifier at the very beginning like when she was having trouble with eating we gave her a pacifier and that's what helped push her tongue down and then she had no problem eating and we nursed for 21 months so I have no problem with pacifiers I have no problem with a bunch of different types of pacifiers um we've never had any confusion hopefully this baby won't either but bringing three different pacifiers and then like I said I'm waiting on a diaper bag and I'm still trying to find a swaddle like a purple one um if we can choose a name or settle it to a couple I might just make different name signs so at least we have the options and then whatever we choose we can just use that one but I don't know if that's realistic so this might be all that I have for baby stuff and mine it's so much more minimal than it was last time with Oakland and that's okay I don't think overpacking is a bad thing I think being prepared and having options is great I didn't mean to make it like more minimal or less stuff than before but I feel like I just forgot what to bring or I don't have it yet like we haven't gotten it. it's not in our possession yet so I do have a snack bag and we'll get chargers Riley's iPad and like last minute like a couple of other things of makeup if I need or whatever clothes I'm wearing and some sandals like when we leave to go to the hospital but other than that like this is all I need and the hospital has everything else if I take my diaper bag like if my new one comes I will have diapers and wipes and burp cloths and just like a regular diaper full of diaper bag full of stuff but honestly some cute outfits onesies mittens and pacifiers are all like she's gonna need in the hospital and then they have everything else so I hope you guys enjoyed if I missed anything or if there's just like some item that like I have no idea about please let me know I would love to add it or know what I'm missing I just feel like I don't I don't know what else to pack like I think I have everything but let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you hopefully soon with a baby but I have a nest with me coming right after this so stay tuned thanks for watching I love you bye